All right, guys. W welcome to the Johnny Small Pepper feed. We're cooking inside today because it looks like it's going to rain. Amazingly enough, using canola oil. We've got fresh pepper, fresh cilantro. I'm going to use bell pepper, some onion powder, cayenne pepper, and some chili powder, just a tad, for making these shrimp. I want to keep the pan up pretty, uh, the pan up pretty good. We're using gas. So hopefully that's good enough. We're going to do some prep work here while the pan is heating. Hope you're all having a good day. Uh, we're making some shrimp for our shrimp alada. And I thought it'd be good just to sit down and wing it a little bit. How does that sound? Put this in here. We're going to do some chopping. Some chopping. I love cilantro. I just can't get it enough. Either you love it or hate it, right? Boom. Ah, oh, I love it. Can't get enough. We can have that, put some garlic, put some seasoning. It's going to be awesome. Got my garlic press here. Let's throw on some shrimp, shall we? I'm going to pull off all the tails here. Can't wait to put this in a Michelada, huh? Look at this. Jumbo shrimp, baby. Might have to make a few drinks. Might have to do it a few days, too. Why? Because I bought enough to. Telling you. Doesn't that look awesome, guys? Look at that. Let's see if we can get the camera up here a little bit closer. How's that? Perfect. Good thing about shrimp, it changes colors, you know when it's cooked. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to make some um, some pita pocket breakfast one morning. I went to the local halal market. I love going to different markets and seeing what you can, what you can find um, as far as food. And it's just, it's awesome. Now let's give our garlic press a little go here. We've got a fresh of garlic. What do you think, huh? Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Look at that, huh? Oh man, you can smell it. Woo wee! You can smell the garlic going in there. in there. Little onion powder. Put a little, just a dab of chili powder. We're going to do some cayenne. There we go. Here's where we get some spice here, guys. I'm going to put some cayenne pepper in here. Whoops. Think we like spice here? Yeah, baby. What do you think? Oh, look at that, huh? Now, I'm going to put some bell pepper in. I bought a huge jar of this stuff. I love bell pepper. I just think it's like one of the most awesome spices ever. Don't you love just cooking and winging it? It's awesome. You don't have to worry about getting the ingredients right or anything. You just do it and you have fun and you mix it up. Oh man, I want to tell you the aroma is coming in. How does how does that look? Look at this. Look at that, huh? Nice. Oh, the smell coming off of that is 
out of this world, guys. As you can imagine, you can just imagine cilantro, fresh garlic, uh, bell pepper, uh, cayenne pepper. It's just, oh, it's off the hook, guys. So we're going to just cook this, and then we're going to chill them. We're going to put them in a bag or a container and chill them. And then we're going to make some micheladas later. Look at that. Oh, look at that, guys. Wow. Now, the other good thing about this is you add it to a michelada, which I think I figured has about 80, 90 calories in it, which is basically less than a, uh, um, than a lot of the drinks you can have. And it's awesome, right? You can just... I'm going to add some more cayenne pepper in there. Why? Just because I can. Let's add, since we're winging it, I could put a ghost pepper in there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do a few habaneros. How does that look? Got these from the market. Oh yeah, they're they're awesome. No black seeds out of that at all. Whoops, there's some seeds there. Get those awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna dice the crud out of these. I'm gonna add that in just to. Boom. Bam. That's what we need to do right there. These are yep. Now you can see colors starting to change. They're going from clear to a pinkish color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a michelada tonight, and we're going to add, you know what, I'm going to add a ghost pepper in there, screw it. Buccalokia ghost. what's nice about I just love winging it you know and I don't even have all the, the ingredients at all yeah it's good so we're gonna add the dice the crud out of this you wonder if this is gonna be hot <laughs> boom baby <laughs> ghost a whole entire ghost pepper in there yeah that's what we're talking so we got habanero, ghost. Woo! Smell that coming up. And the good part is, the good part is that uh, um, this is just going to sit in the bag and get cool and be around all that pepper and it's going to soak up all that. Another five minutes and we don't want to get them too done. Let me test it. Oh boy. Folks, we've got some spot. Wow. <laughs> uh, holy crap. That's, that's good. I mean, that is, that's off the hook right there. It's hot. It's like a one. Um, but it's a, <coughs> it's a lot hotter than I expected. Oh, this is going to be so awesome tonight. I'm going to save all the stuff in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to put it in the drink. It's, it's stuff that's loose, not that's burnt out. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Huh? Man, it's amazing. i got to have one more. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's legit right there. That is legit. Okay, we're done. 
Now, got the, I gotta have one more. That's awesome. I'm gonna tell you, um, whatever I did here, this is the best I've ever done it um, because it has so much flavor to it. So we've got one ghost pepper, two habaneros, bell pepper, onion, chili powder, a ton of um, a ton of uh, cayenne pepper in here, and here we are. Now we're gonna let this cool off. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. We're gonna wait till tonight, and bam. We're ready to go. Then I, I gotta have one more, mm, and one more. I'm gonna tell you, that is totally off the hook. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. So, uh, welcome to the Johnny Small Pepper Feed. This is a shrimp alado, half a cup of ice. Shake up a clamato. This is the clamato original. You can normally take. <coughs> And you put a little over half of Kamado. I am going to use this because, um, oops, oops. We use a beer. Let's see how this goes. Oh, all right. Oh, look at that. I want to tell you these drinks are awesome. You want to go up to about a half an inch from the top. You can, if you do it uh, non-alcoholically, I'm on vacation this week, guys, so I have, I'm having a few beers. Uh, you put in LaCroix sparkling water. You put in Tapatio. Tapatio, you're supposed to put in a few shakes. I put in a ton. I'm going to make some uh, micheladas using a whole bunch of hot sauce. I want to use up mine because I really don't use it that much. A few drops of Maggie sauce, Maggie the dog sauce. Then, you go one, two, spin the rim, then you have tajin, T-A-J-I-N. It's a Mexican adornment. It has no, no taste, uh, no heat to it. Now look at that drink, huh? Look at that. Now, these were cooked in garlic, cilantro, red bell pepper, cayenne pepper, and you're going to see that in the cooking video before this, uh, and one ghost pepper and two habaneros. So there is some spice to this, and I want to tell you it's awesome. Put a few in here, just like boom, boom, boom. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Now, one of the nice things about these with the shrimp is you can put a whole bunch of shrimp in it and just let people eat it. I'm going to tell you. This is, um, this is spectacular. Mm. You know, if you're having a dinner party or something, and you want to serve a drink, wait till you see the fajita lata. The fajita lata that I'm going to do next. Oh, got to have this one. I want to tell you, this drink is through the roof. It's like a 12 out of 10. Well, guys, a shrimp alada. You take half a glass of ice, half a glass of Clamato, dump your beer in to a half an inch to the top. Oh. Then you add as many shakes as of tapatio that you want. A few drops of Maggie. You can add Worcestershire sauce. I just don't do it. Some people use lime around the rim. I don't worry about it. Mm. Mm. This is the drink you can entertain with. You can do anything you want to this drink. It's something different. People will love it or hate it. But I want to tell you. This is straight from Tijuana. And um, not the shrimp, but the other part of it. It's 
called the Mitchell Hada. Oh my goodness. Mm. Guys, if you were here to taste this, oh my goodness. This is this is a 12 out of 10. Have 10 people over, cook about 20 pounds of shrimp, cook it in just as hot a stuff as you want. I'm gonna tell you, this is a special drink. You can do so many things with the Michelada. Welcome to Johnny Small Peppers. I hope you have an awesome day. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this, and then I'm gonna have a fajita lava, which is a fajita inside the drink. Man, I'm telling you, gotta have another shrimp. These are lightning hot. Oh, they're one. That's hotter than most stuff you can cook in Japan. I'll tell you, um, I've done this before, but I did not use fresh cilantro. I did not use fresh garlic when I cooked the shrimp. Um, and these are way better. This has an entirely different taste. I'll show the cooking video before this. Wow. Cheers, everyone. And I hope you have an awesome night. Wow. I think it's a 15 out of 10. That is beyond description good. If you're looking for something different, the shrimp alada is awesome. I hope you enjoy the cooking part of it also. It's really simple. I just made it up as I went along and I think, I think oh man, my tongue's getting a little bit lit. <laughs> Have an awesome night, guys.